Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little bit of like a just trying out a bunch of new like makeup products video. I haven't done one of these in a while because I tend to do like eyeshadow palette reviews or like mascara reviews. I do you know what I'm having a complete brain fog. I like I cannot remember like what do I do here? Like what I don't know what I do here. Oh my gosh, like how can I not know what I could do here? Basically, I have a bunch of uh, new products and I just thought, you know what, let's just try them out together. Uh, this is definitely going to be like more of a chatty kind of video because I just know that I am going to probably go off on tangents. And have you ever watched a video from me that has not been chatty anyway? So I'm just kind of putting a bit of a disclaimer in now to let you know this will be a bit chatty. If you're not a fan of chattiness, then that's fine. I'm not really a fan of chattiness either, to be honest. So I don't blame you if you want to just like, if you want to feck off, you can feck off. You, I don't mind. I won't take it personally, it, honestly. But anyway, if you are still here, like I'm the worst YouTuber ever, most of these other YouTubers are saying, oh, please like, subscribe, st grab yourself a drink, stay, stay for the long haul. I'm just like, just feck off if you want. The, uh, this is like the alternate kind of YouTuber. So just a bit of a backstory, the reason why I have come to have the products that we're going to try today not all of them but one two three four five six there's six products five out of six i got via my monthly subscription box which is the look fantastic beauty box which honestly it's a bit shit and i am going to do an unboxing video after i film this video um because this is one that i literally just received this morning but i signed up for this uh, uh, about six months ago full of hope and optimism thinking you know oh my gosh this is like gonna be birch box but hopefully a million times better but I've been a bit disappointed honestly I'm gonna discuss more about it in my unboxing video so if you are interested in like a review of the beauty box then please watch that but um yeah for overall it's a bit shit but anyway we can touch on that later but so the products that we're going to be trying out today are so we have the hyaluronic hydra powder this is from by terry i believe by terry is very elusive elusive exclusive i meant exclusive i don't know if it's elusive or not probably not because you know they're giving them out for free not for free because you pay for the beauty box but yeah they're just probably this probably did oh shit fuck what the feck i did not expect that yeah, let's face it, I think we can probably agree that the majority of these little sample like products that you get in these monthly subscription boxes, they were probably all a bit shit, not selling too well, so they just thought, let's just pop them in this box. Like, probably look fantastic, just bought uh, them in bulk and pop them in the box. So I shouldn't say that going into this, so because I actually think some of these products will be good. But anyway, so we've got the By Terry Setting Powder. We've got the Lottie London Golden Hour Metallic Eyeshadow. I can't really hold it up because it's like a loose pigment. And I want it on my lids, but not everywhere else. We have a highlighter by the Ciate brand. We have a clear brow gel by Ico, and as I hold this up, I just had that realization. This probably is going to be the most boringest product ever to try. Oh no, actually, so those four were from the Beauty Box, the other two I bought. So this one is the Brow Wax Pen from Essence, and then we have the Eye Heart Extreme Crazy Volume by Mascara by Essence. The name just makes me laugh. Crazy Volume, like, oh my gosh, like, what's so crazy about it? I'm just going to go for it. We're going to jump right in. By the way, I've got a really throbby leg today because I was just in the park with my son and we were just having your nice little mom-son kind of bonding, like kicking the ball about time. And then this group of 13-year-old boys in hoodies that just approached from nowhere seemingly. And they were like, oh, do you want to play a game? Do you, should we have a game? And I was like, not really, no. But like, I didn't say that, but in my head I was thinking, no, immediately no but i said to my son i said look it's fine you have a game i'll just i'll sit back and i said to them i said i'm just a mom i'm just a mom yeah no i'll leave you boys to it but as it turned out unfortunately there was not an equal number of uh people so i ended up 
having to take part. The competitive side of me came out. Oh my gosh, I was playing some aggressive football. I think even my son was, I, I don't know, maybe like a mixture between like proud, looking at his mum getting involved, but also a bit scared at aggressive mom playing football. I kicked their asses. I really did. Oh my gosh. At one point, one of them said to me, you're really good at football. Oh my gosh. That's the biggest compliment anyone's given me in years, quite honestly, being told I'm good at football from a 13 year old. And then another one said that I was like crack. And I'm like, I really hope that crack means amazing. And I also hope that he didn't say crap and me and my son just misheard him but he said I was like crack and I'm going to take it as a compliment I think I'm going to have to google that actually is crack good I'll google that later but I have an injury look at my injury look this is how hard I played look you probably can't can you see yeah look at that big feck off look look I excuse my hairy legs because I do have hairy legs but I also have a really big lump because um one of the boys whacked me in my shin but he was very polite and he said sorry and I pretended it didn't hurt and then I limped all the way home but I still thrashed them I scored a hat trick they did not expect to be owned by a mom Anyway, right guys, anyway, we've got to get into this. I do not have any makeup on my face. I told you it was going to be a chatty one, didn't I? I'm just full of confidence today and energy after kicking those 13-year-old boys' asses at football. That is a huge confidence booster. Anyway, guys, right, so we're going to begin today with the setting powder because I put my base on ages ago. Have I set it? Nope, I haven't. So, okay, so we've done regular, just a little... Thing. you know what it is we've we've all we've all taken part in the rodeo of setting powder before okay so it's like two minutes since i last spoke to you i've been trying to take off this protective like cover and it won't freaking come off and it's it's doing my head in it's ripping off my nail polish and i'm on the verge of just giving up like what the feck what the feck and do you know what i bet they've sent out thousands of these and no one's actually been able to try it because they can't get in the Freaking thing. Do you know what? I'm literally, I'm literally on the verge of giving up. Time is so precious. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go into savage mode. I'm going to think outside the box. Uh, they don't call me savage mom for nothing. Well, actually, no one's ever called me savage mom. Apart from, I hope the boys will always refer to me forevermore as savage mom. Anyway, right, so I'm taking my earring that I don't really like and I'm just poking. Oh, oh, hello. Oh my gosh, this was the best idea ever. It looks like cocaine. I shouldn't really say that, the video. Oh, okay, right, that's enough. I only needed one poke and, and it was done. That's what she said. You knew that was coming, didn't you? That was an obvious one, but I, do you know what? I'm annoyed because my camera, you've probably noticed it. I know you have, it keeps shaking and it's because the fucking camera mount and the table clashing. So I'm going to just sort that out. I would have put it on. Okay. Oh, this is boring, isn't it? I've just realised how boring is it. To, ugh, I think I've got something in my mouth. Oh, oh, I definitely did. How boring is it to see someone try a setting powder? So dull. Like, so dull. What's going on? Why, 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 why has it done that? Why has it, why has it done that? What? What? I need, I need a mirror. I need a close-up of this shit show what's going on like why is why has he done that i've never had that happen before why has he done that is it something i did like what did i do wrong like why why has he gone all patchy like that look what 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 i have no clue what happened there but do you know what i think i'm just going to say right now that setting powder is shit because never ever in my life have i ever had a setting powder do that well that's a shit show isn't it absolute shit shot but do you know what i can't even be asked what would because what like check doing anything to fix it because what am i meant to do go put my base on again look oh, shit why did he do that do you know why he did that let me know in the comments if you know why he did that because i am at a loss although i can tell you it's shit do you know what i'm gonna do because i don't have like a blush or anything to try i'm just gonna contour i'm gonna pop some blush on and hope that none of us can see that disaster anymore but you know what i'm gonna say this is shit i don't know if it's something i did wrong but i can't imagine me ever doing anything wrong i'm gonna just say this is bullshit bullshit don't buy that 
bullshit by Terry. No, don't buy Terry. That's, I know, shit joke. But, okay, I'm just going to do everything to do, do, and then I'll be back. You know what? I'm very, like, disgruntled about that setting powder. Like, why would it do that? Oh, and do you know what? My face feels as dry as a nun's vagina. Anyway, I'm looking nice and bronzed, so that's all that matters. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this Revel, you know, this is a bit like a get ready with me, but just with some, trying some new products like mixed in. So we're going to be using the Super Fix Setting Hold Misting Spray. I'm not sure if I like this or not. I don't know, it feels nice going on the face. But I, I wish I didn't have to keep like going to, like, you know the Morphe one, which is like really beautiful, like relaxing spa like mist. Well, that's kind of what I hope this one will be, but it's not. Like this is like that one's adhd little sister who is just all over the place and you just wish they would calm down a bit you know because like isn't that what we all do when we're trying to dry the setting spray like this Ugh. Ugh. okay so for blush today i'm just going in with the milani luminoso i really just want to distract away from the trail of destruction that by terry has left on my face oh this blush is beautiful i've not used it in a while but look at that if you want a beautiful glowy peachy blush and where you don't even have to put highlighter on ah oh, she is an icon like she is an icon i don't think i even liked her this much when i used her last time but i'm really appreciating her today but it's a shame because i've just realized i've got a highlighter to try and i'm already very glowy but just like, like this is how glowy i am now okay we're going to pop the highlighter on next god look at me look how fast i'm being and efficient I'm fast and efficient are never words that are usually used in conjunction with me but today oh yeah she's on fire honestly i should start every day playing a game of football with a group of 13 year old boys because i feel like that would just be the best like way to kickstart your day you know it'd be amazing just like every day just be like kick their ass be crack you know be crack i want to be crack every single day because apparently that's what the kids are saying now okay so this is the highlighter it's super cute and it's in the shade starburst which looks to be a beautiful uh, champagne shade we'll do a swatch hmm Okay, so I really love that shade. Like, yeah, and she's got a beautiful level of glow. She's giving us glass skin, wet look sheen. But up close, she is giving us a little bit of powder. Like, a bit, there's a bit more powder there than I would hope to see. But, oh yeah, um, she's beautiful. She, she's gorgeous. She's kind of like Rodeo Drive, but I would say a little bit lighter. So like if you find that Rodeo Drive by Ofra is maybe a little bit too warm, I'd say this one would be oh, your perfect shade. Perfect. Because she's just a bit lighter. Oh, can you see that? Oh my gosh, she is gorgeous. Do you know what? Absolutely gorgeous. And I don't think I've tried any other makeup by Ciate. I'm familiar with the brand, but I oh look at that. Oh my gosh, my cubist bow has never looked so beautiful. I I love the shade. I love how it's smooth. It's not na like looking natural, because I don't think anyone would have this level of glow naturally, but it's just kind of it's kind of sunk into my skin. It looks like part of my skin as opposed to um, kind of sitting on top of my skin. So I love that. OMG. Oh, this could be like my new favorite highlighter. I say that about every product that I like and then I use it this next time and I think I don't really like you very much. But for now, she's my new favorite highlighter. So this is the Ciate Illuminating Powder Highlighter in the shade Starburst. Okay, so next we're going to jump away from the Look Fantastic box products and we're going to jump into the Essence product. So this is the Essence Brow Wax Pen and this is in the shade Blonde. So I've got a little snack here and these are, I don't know what the name of the brand is actually, but if you're in the UK, you know you get rice cakes and the they're probably, I'd say the most popular rice cakes. I, can't, I eat them every day, but I cannot think 
of the name of the brand they sold the like special they're not i don't know if they're special but they're like flavored like ooh, flavor experience and these ones are balsamic vinegar and beetroot and you know what I, that does not sound good to me at all i like balsamic balsamic vinegar but i don't really like i like beetroot but not on a rice cake so i saw a tiktok where somebody tried these and they were saying oh they taste just like pickled onion monster munch and i love pickled onion monster munch but i'm a health freak so i don't i don't eat crisps uh, so i thought oh my gosh i've got to try these and literally they smell and they taste just like pickled onion monster munch so if you're a fan of pickled onion monster munch but you want a healthier alternative these are amazing like i highly recommend it I'm just going to quickly brush through my brows before we put the brow pen through them just to give it a fighting chance unlike those 13 year old boys today I know you're probably thinking I'm when stop talking about it girlfriend but I'm just like it was a, it was a very proud moment you know for my son to see me kick ass at football like a, a sport that he loves so much to see his mum doing well at it whoa i just think i've 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 definitely gone up at like a million notches now in his estimations i am super mom to him okay so let's just do this with the brow thing brow wax pen okay so we've got quite a chunky tip <laughs> yes we do have a chunky tip which doesn't make for the like most precise application and also the wax is quite thick so I definitely feel like I I'm gonna have to go in with a spoolie but I like the look I mean I like the look it looks natural but very structured and it's just given my brow a bit of backbone a bit of backbone like what the fuck am I talking about like backbone yeah nice do you know what like when you go in with the spoolie and you push through the the wax it creates really natural looking like hairs hairs i really like that like look at the difference like this is a tragedy and then this is like ooh, a hollywood success story i love it very pigmented a little bit like not difficult to use by any means but it is um you know i wish the head was a bit smaller i think that would just make it a little bit a little bit easier to get a precise shape particularly if you're also one that likes to have very like manicured perfect looking brows i'm not really that person i don't mind them looking a bit shit i mean they look shit most of the time honestly but i'm really good at football though did i mention that i definitely recommend she's affordable she's easy to use a bit chunky but still easy to use she looks really good so i i stand she costs like two pounds <laughs> she's literally gone straight in my everyday makeup bag okay so next we're going to move on to the lottie metallic eye pigment my second favorite mas oh no probably my third yeah my third favorite mascara in the world is the lottie super fake like she's brilliant she's waterproof well she's not what she doesn't claim to be waterproof but she never smudges perfect for the lower lashes she's perfect for the top she she gives volume she gives length she gives separation and a little bit of an uplift she's fucking phenomenal okay so this is in the shade golden hour oh gosh wow oh wow look at that <gasps> like my first thought is like how did she make it in this box i don't know what why there were any of her left to like sell to look fantastic in bulk she is look at that there's no point me even saying anything because she 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 says it all herself i'm just wondering though like how would i best apply this oh do you know what i used to have a shelf there but i've taken it down and i was just like looking over to my shelf for some moral support just i don't know i was looking for my palette but it was not there because my shelf's not there if the born to run palette to the rescue so i'm just going to create a little bit of crease work and then we're going to go in with the golden hour uh, pigment on the lid why are we speaking to nobody oh no i speak to the camera the camera Jay, do you want to tell everybody hmm? how good was i in the park right so we're playing football against other people 
Mm -hmm. I almost scored three holes. I did. It was great, wasn't it, Jay? Yeah, and that scored seven. We did amazing. Like, we really did thrash them. Like, we did. I think we should do that more often, Jay. I was telling everyone about how wonderful it was. I just saw someone's nappy across the road. Oh, Jay. You see that young girl boy over there? Oh, yeah. And the, the mum, I think. Oh, I think that's grandma, you know. The, the, oh, yeah, I see the nappy too. Oh, he's so cute. The, the grandma oh is that grandpa is that grandma or is it grandpa that's not our grandpa no 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 but is it a grandpa i don't know if that's a man or a woman us a grandpa the grandpa back to the football back that, to that's the football. Alex. Oh, it was well worth it though dre well worth it to have such a great game Can I sit down you got a lamp here what you got a lamp here Oh no, that's just my bony leg. Yeah. I've got lots of I've got lots of weird bones in my knees. Mom. Mm-hmm. Um tomorrow, can we do a fairy tale story? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, yes we can try. Hey, before you go, just try this. It's really good. I know Why is it pink? Just try it. It tastes like pickles on your monster munch. Do you like it? But it's a healthy it's healthy, it's got loads of protein in to build oh muscle. Body. Do you like it? Kind of. Oh, it's really do it, do it to take some. Give me a kiss, don't go without giving me a kiss. Mm. I love you. Oh. Okay, Swam. So oh no, I'm not back. Sorry, I was going to do something else, I forgot. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've done a little bit of eyeshadow just to like frame the beautiful eyeshadow that we're about to put on the lid. It might be a bit tricky, I'm thinking, because it is such a loose pigment oh yeah yeah my worst fears are coming true it is tricky do you know what i may be best going in with my finger that's what she said oh my gosh and wow oh wow but she's messy like she's so messy but yeah your finger's your best bet like you're not gonna get anywhere near the same level of extravagance and opulence and sensation from a brush. I mean, look at that. Look how beautiful she looks on my finger. She's a stunner. The fact that this product and that highlighter, they're so, both so, so good. It's kind of made me feel bad for saying the look, look fantastic beauty box were a bit shit because actually these products are amazing. It's mainly the, you know, like when you get like hair care, or like a lip mask, or like a cleansing cloth, or just some bullshit in the box. Like, he's that, that pisses me off, but it's hair stuff, honestly. Like, I don't want to be getting like a, a hair conditioner that is the size of a travel toothpaste. Well, like, what's the fucking point? Like, what's the point in that? What's the point? I don't get it. Like, I, I, I like putting shitloads of conditioner on my hair. Oh, do you know what? Anyway, like, how can I known when i've got this going on look at this stunning it's just stunning do you know what i think may work actually you know if you did not want to apply this with your finger and i understand why some people maybe wouldn't want to i think that maybe like and i'm going to test this theory out you could go in with a wet wife white wet wife you could go in with a wet wife i don't know what would happen because a wet wife sounds unpredictable honestly but you could go in with a wet wife i don't know where you get one from but anyway oh god i am so sorry guys i know i i know i i i just relate to how annoying you probably find me to be we've done the wet wife because i can't I'm, not, I'm always gonna say wet wife now my brush is a bit bit wet and now i am going back in again just to kind of press this all in yeah so if you did want to use a brush and not your fingers, then yeah, this will be a good way to go. You could probably also just use like a settings spray or something. I don't know. Oh my gosh, guys, that is opulence at its finest. I think that is absolutely stunning. And I will most likely be wearing this when I next venture into the office just to blow everybody away with the beauty. Do you think that this pink lipstick is, is it vibing with the look? Should I have gone with like peach? I was thinking peach, but then I thought, no, I've not worn pink in a while. 
I don't know if it's vibing. But anyway, guys, right. So we have come to the final product and that is the Ico Clay Brow Gel. This is the one that I thought would just be like so boring to try on camera because like it's an eye gel and it's clear. So like, are we going to even see her? No, probably not. It's like me reviewing an invisibility cloak. Although that would kind of be cool, wouldn't it? I mean, you wouldn't see me, but actually, oh, there's some really cute birds on the, on the electrical line. Oh my gosh, they're very colourful. They've fucked off now. A bigger bird's chase them. That's worrying. I hope he's not picking on them. Maybe they're friends. I'm going to go with the fact they're very good friends. Anyway, whoa. Do you know what? This is nice. I mean, this wand has picked up a lot of the product. So, yeah, I've got product overload going on. But actually, I'll just do this one side first. I'm going to go for like a bushy brow look today. I really like it. I hope it dries. It's very generous. You get a lot like he's doing a lot he's i feel like he's really working he's saying don't worry i'm going to coat each and every brow hair in me okay so guys you know what i really like that i mean it's nothing special i'm sure that you could just pick up essence's clear brow gel for like two pounds and have the same you know kind of results but she, she's nice I, I will use her definitely so she's not gonna go to waste um but she's nothing special like honestly oh i completely forgot we had the mascara well isn't that a nice surprise so uh, this is the crazy volume mascara i believe that this is rather iconic um with fans of essence it's been around forever there's been so many occasions where i've looked at her and i've thought wow like i really fancy buying her but mainly just because like she's pink and I always want to buy anything pink. There could be like a, I'm trying to think, what is something I do not want to buy? It could just be the ugliest thing in the world, but if it's pink, I will want to buy it. Okay, so I've curled my bra, no I've not, I've curled my lashes is what I've done. And we're gonna go in with the crazy mascara. I've got Luna here, Luna what's this? Do you wanna say hello? You wanna sniff that? Hello? Hi chickadee, are you attracted to pink as well? Ooh, I like that wand, I like it. At first I thought she was gonna be like really big, but I like the fact that the bristles are quite Yeah, feel free to just rip apart my makeup chair. It's fine. Do you know when you get to that point when, like, you just you stop caring about your furniture? Like, I'm sure anybody who's got cats, dogs, young kids, they probably long since stopped giving a shit about the, the state of their furniture. Do you know what, I like it. I mean, she's not giving us much volume, ironically, but she definitely has given length, separation, a bit of curl, although I think we can um, applaud the eyelash curlers for that. I'm gonna put on another coat. Oh, the guys are watching Alvin and the Chipmunks downstairs. Is that not the most annoyingest show in the world? Because of the voices, like, na 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 na, I can hear them singing. Na 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 na, na 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 na. Oh, I can, I can manage to kind of deal with the majority of kids' TV, but what I cannot deal with is Alvin and the Chipmunks, gaming YouTubers whose target audience is young kids. Nah. Anyway, I forgot I was testing out this mascara. Uh, it's not the best for the lower lashes, you know. It is just a little bit too big for the lower lashes. I do not like this application. It's looking good down there, but I do not like this application down there. But look at that. Do you know what? I think actually, considering the fact that this is super affordable, I, I don't have any complaints whatsoever. I... I, I like this and I would recommend, although I would recommend The Lash Princess a lot more. I really like her and I'm happy to have her in my life, but she will not be replacing The Lash Princess because The Lash Princess just gives a whole lot more. Although she looks really, really good. And do you know what? Let's do, do the finger technique, actually. I should always do the finger technique before giving an opinion. Okay. I mean, yes. Wow. Wow. She's giving a lot. But she's just not quite 
Lash Princess, Super Fake by Lottie, or the XXXL extension by L'Oreal. But she's good. She's good. And I think for the price, like, do you know what? She looks really good. Why am I being, like, critical? She looks really good. She looks great, but I don't know. Like, let me check her out again. She looks really good. Like, I really like her. Oh, my gosh. Like, I don't think I'm going to like her more than the Lash Princess, but I'd say she's very close to the Lash Princess. And, I mean, if you've not tried her, you could give her a go. You probably would like her. Uh, she's, yeah, I like her a lot. I applaud her, but without applauding her because, like, I am not going to do that. But, I anyway. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this video. I had so much fun just being a bit, like, casual, informal, just, you know, not really having, like, a process map or, like, a, a plan of, oh, yeah, like, I, I, I hate me talking as if my videos are ever structured like they're not, but I just like that. Oh, let's try this. Oh, let's try that. And, ooh, I just like it. I like it a lot. Anyway, guys, I really hope you've liked this video as much as I have. I very much doubt it, honestly. But if you've just enjoyed it a little bit and you've... If you just enjoyed it a bit, then that's good enough for me. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. and I will see you in the next one. If you're interested to see my review of the beauty box, then it will be coming at some point soon. It may have already come, actually. So it, if it's not come, it will be coming soon. That's what she said. I mean, did, did she not say that? Anyway, guys, right, I'm going. 